Condoleezza Rice is one of the most important figures in the 21st century. Condoleezza Rice was born in Birmingham, Alabama on November 14, 1954. She grew up as the only child of two teachers in Alabama. She went to segregated schools, but her parents really instilled in her the idea that she could do anything she wanted. Rice excelled musically, academically, and athletically. Condoleezza Rice is a huge sports junkie. In 1968, the family moved to Denver, Colorado. Rice graduated from high school in 1971 and went to the University of Denver. She had actually dreamed of being a classical pianist as a career. Rice earned a political science degree from the University of Denver in 1974. A year later, she received a master's from Notre Dame. She also became fluent in Russian. She went on to get her PhD in Russian studies. Rice received her doctorate in 1981 and was hired by Stanford University as a political science professor. Condoleezza Rice was an incredibly attractive, forceful, smart, well-prepared, impressive woman. In 1986, she became an advisor to the Pentagon's Joint Chiefs of Staff. And that began her path uh, towards a more political life. President George H.W. Bush appointed Rice as Director of Soviet and East European Affairs at the National Security Council in 1989. That's where she got to know the Bush family, and she was very close to uh, George W. Bush. Rice returned to Stanford in 1991. She became the first African American and the first woman provost at Stanford. In 1999, Rice joined the George W. Bush presidential campaign as a foreign relations advisor. After the election, President Bush appointed her as the first female national security advisor. The President of the United States really liked her and relied on her. Then came the attacks of September 11, 2001, and the U.S. invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq. And within the administration, her influence grew. She wasn't just at the table, she was one of the people who was chairing the table. In 2005, Rice became the first female African-American Secretary of State. She put a very positive face on American foreign policy. As Secretary of State, Rice helped negotiate the Israeli withdrawal from Gaza. She fought against all forms of slavery and helped negotiate a U.S.-India agreement on the peaceful uses of nuclear energy. In 2009, Rice left the State Department, returning again to her teaching post at Stanford. She has written four books, and in August 2012, Rice became one of the first two women admitted into previously all-male Augusta National Golf Club. She's an accomplished golfer and an accomplished pianist, <laughs> and she knows her foreign policy issues as well. So she's really quite an extraordinary person.